The Gem 63 and 63 XL motors are manufactured at three different Northrop Grumman, Utah facilities. The Clearfield site manufactures the motor case. Promontory tests the case structural integrity and manufactures the nozzle. Bacchus prepares the case for the propellant, casts the propellant in the case, and completes the rocket motor assembly. At Clearfield Operations, GEM 63 and 63 XL manufacturing starts with the assembly of the mandrel, which is comprised of various pieces of steel hardware that are assembled together in the shape of a mandrel. Insulation material is then applied to the mandrel and composite material is wrapped around the insulation to form the case. The wound case then undergoes an elevated temperature cure. When the cure is complete and the case is cooled, the mandrel is disassembled. Next, the case is machined and proof tested to ensure it meets dimensional and pressure load requirements. Once testing is complete, the case is transported to Bacchus where the exterior of the case is insulated and the motor is prepared for casting. The case is then installed into a casting pit for the casting campaign. A campaign is a time-critical and orchestrated event where propellant is added to the case. Once in the casting pit, the case is filled with propellant that is mixed in a state-of-the-art mixing facility, making it a solid rocket motor. The motor is then cured and transported to a non-destructive testing facility for inspection, where high-energy X-ray is used to ensure inspection parameters and criteria for the motor are met. Simultaneous to case and motor manufacturing, GEM nozzle fabrication takes place at the Promontory Nozzle Manufacturing Center. Nozzle fabrication begins with a structural wrap using carbon cloth material, which is cured under heat and pressure to form its shape. The nozzle is inspected and then prepped for the next step of assembly. Several different carbon parts are bonded together to create a throat subassembly, which is then applied to a structural shell. The full nozzle assembly is sent to an X-ray facility for inspection to ensure the nozzle has no defects that would prevent it from being used for flight. Finally, insulation material is applied to the exterior of the nozzle in preparation for final assembly and installation on the motor. All motor components come together at Bacchus and are installed on the loaded motor to create the final rocket motor configuration. The finishing building is broken up into unique cells with individual processes that allow the rocket motor to be built in a progressive manner. Brackets are bonded to the motor to allow avionics, flight safety, and ordnance systems to be installed. All of the hardware that connects the rocket motor to the booster is attached. And the final cell is where all subcomponents are installed, making the GEM solid rocket motor complete. It's then loaded onto a trailer engineered specifically for the unique size and weight of GEM motors and is shipped to the customer. The GEM transporter is 100 feet long and 13 feet tall. It has 40 tires on 10 axles, eight of which are steerable, which helps maneuver the motor across the country. Once the transporter arrives at the launch site, it's delivered directly to the launch pad and erected and mated to the core vehicle. The motor is now ready for flight.